Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be answering 50, 50 random questions from my Instagram. So first things first, how cute is this background? I do not know why I've been filming all my videos sat on the floor like a random... So I was tagged in this thing. It's called Ask Away. It's from the company rusticstuff.co. But I thought, let me just answer them all for you guys, or at least the ones that I want to answer. So let's just jump into it. Number one, relationship status. Number two, last song you heard, Wasting Time by Brent Fayaz. Don't know how to say his name. Let me know in the comments how you pronounce it. And Drake... That is a good song. That is a good song. Also, Let Me Know by Elijah Thrill. Guys, I'm so gassed by this singer. Honestly, Elijah Thrill, go check him out. He's amazing. Three, do I miss anyone? I miss my mom. Four, would you rather be loved or love someone? If I'm honest with you guys, I think I'd rather be loved. I know that sounds a little bit selfish. I just think, can you imagine how heartbreaking it is to love someone that doesn't love you back? Like, I don't think I could firm it. I cannot take rejection whatsoever. Whatsoever in life. Greatest struggle in life. I just have very little understanding of like the woman's role or what was expected. And not even in terms of a traditional way, but just like in social situations, that was really difficult. Dreams and ambitions. I would say for me as a person, like I actually really, really really want to do my masters. My degree itself did not help me whatsoever in my life, but I've always been quite academic. I already know what I want to do it about as and when I get the time to do so. Um, nicknames. So for me, my dad calls me Birrit. No idea why. He changes his nickname for me literally every week. A lot of people call me Princess. I know that sounds a bit like RC for me to say, but that is a common one that people call me. Whether it's sarcastic or not, I don't know, but I'm gonna take it because I am Princess. Future career advice. I would definitely say one of my teachers in year eight, Miss Hutchinson, she said this to me and she goes, it's good to know the stuff that you don't wanna do just as much as it's good to know the stuff that you do wanna do. So if you do work experience in retail and then you absolutely hate it, like that's just as valuable as finding out that you absolutely love it because you can just write off an entire job that's such a learning thing, especially from a young age. So when you're young, do as much jobs as you possibly can. Ideal date. So Ali Pali is my favorite place in the world, Alexandra Palace. It would definitely be something involving that. I'm not a very active girl. Like I'm not like an outdoorsy, like let's do an adventure. Like, no, that's not me. Like sit me down in a really nice restaurant and let's just like chill or like, yeah, probably just like a really nice restaurant. Okay, next one, favorite emoji. I'm gonna give you guys three seconds. I'm gonna put a countdown on the screen for you guys to tell me what my favorite emoji is because I think you're gonna know. It is the black heart. I think it's a really chic way to say that you love someone. Number 11 is your favorite style of clothing. So you guys have seen me make about 300 videos wearing this one jumper. It's got so bobbly, honestly. Don't judge me. So yeah, I would say um, I like comfy clothes. Um, weird food combo you enjoy. I was gonna say once I had crisps and a jar, but then I thought to myself, that's basically like having poppadoms in a jar, which is highly normal. Oh, everything with peri sauce. Nando's peri sauce. Oof. Put that on everything. Things you're worried about. I, I'm worried about that bloody book on my bookshelf, first of all. Basically, five in the morning, it just like a really loud and I've like come running and I look down at the floor and this book is there and I'm like, why is it so far away from my bookshelf? There could be many scientific reasons for this. So yeah, I guess that's something I'm worried about. So I'm lying there, sleeping, happy, peaceful. Then I hear this huge slap. So literally, I jump out of bed and I go to my living room where I heard it and I see this book on the floor. Just for reference, it's quite far from my bookshelf itself. This was the sound it made. As you can see, quite an innocent book, just five minutes in the morning journal. So I'm thinking, how did it get there? Side note, I'm so freaked out at this point. I run back, get my phone and I'm already like on the phone. Someone's trying to calm me down. So I'll put it back where it was and I go back to bed. Next morning I wake up and I'm like, listen, I'm gonna test it. It fell in this direction. So I was like, let me just nudge it slightly, see what happens. You guys, it does not fall that far. My last photo I took, let's have a look at my camera roll. Oh my God, look how funny that is. It's a screenshot from a DM from someone called Rohit. Basically, he sent me this scientific thing which explained how the book potentially could have fallen. So that made me feel much better. Favorite YouTube channel, Molly May. I love Molly May. Favorite cafe, Jaiwala. 
why am I even, why am I even considering? A moment of achievement, uh, when I got a first in my degree and I was walking across the stage, I was wearing Indian clothes, my dad and my baba, who's a sing, wearing a bug turban in the front row. And I was just so proud to be representing. That was a good moment. Best school or college memory. Best school memory was when I was in Atlanta. So I did my third year in Atlanta and then I stayed there for the summer, even though I wasn't really allowed. I'm glad I didn't really have social media properly back then because If you know, you know. If you were there with me, you were there with me and you know the craziness. Love or career? I pick love. Childhood life or adult life? Definitely not reliving my childhood. Let's just leave it there. Carbonara or bolognese? If it's a vegan bolognese or vegetarian bolognese, you know when they make it with lentils? I really like that. So I'm gonna go for vegetarian bolognese. Things you're grateful for in life. Honestly, guys, my apartment, I cannot get over it. Like, I'm even looking in the viewfinder, as you can probably tell, and I'm just like, I can't believe it. Like, it's so nice. I'm so grateful for it. Languages you can speak? I uh, can speak English. Um, I'm quite good at Spanish. And then my Punjabi, my Spanish is better than my Punjabi, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm very highly jealous of anyone that can speak Punjabi. I can understand it, don't get me wrong. Very clearly I can understand it. Um, and I can speak it back to you and you can generally understand what I'm saying, but I have no confidence when it comes to speaking Punjabi. No confidence. Work from home or office culture? I think work from home. Favorite hobbies? Perfume. Have you found the purpose of life? Uh, I think it's to... I started that sentence so confident, didn't I? You really thought I was gonna say something valuable. <laughs> you were wrong, I'm a stupid. <laughs> Favorite Christmas present? I think with books. I was really into books when I was younger. Do first impressions matter? Yes, and I don't really give good first impressions, so I'm a bit screwed. Which game do you play the most? I don't really play games. Which country do you wish to travel to? I wanna say Thailand, because I feel like there's loads of like stuff to do, food to eat, culture, places to go like, you can be in mountains, beach, city. I think it looks really cool. What lockdown lifestyle taught you? Honestly, that I'm okay being on my own. What motivates you in life? My family, my dad, making sure that we have the life that I feel like we should have had. Most ridiculous thing you bought, a 5,000 pound Chanel bag. Don't know why I did that. Don't really need it. Who knows you best? I actually think my dad, because my dad knows all sides of me. Like I'm friendly, young Erin with him. I'm also like ratty kid Erin with him. I'm also a businesswoman with him. Are you a coffee drinker? Yes. Oldest thing you own, my cuddly, um, rabbit she's called sally what was your first job i was a hostess at a restaurant one thing that you'll never do again drink i have tried alcohol before and i just think it's disgusting like i've never been drunk or anything but it's just not for me outdated slang you still use sometimes i say raw like when i'm shocked i'd be like raw and I don't think people say that anymore. Favorite thing to watch on TikTok. I like watching stuff about like self-improvement, stuff that teaches me new things. I'm really like on a learning new things vibe. Favorite scent, incense or rose or musk. Interesting skills you wanna learn. I wanna improve my Punjabi. Grossest food you ever had. Oh my God, last night I was at a restaurant in Milton Keynes. It serves Thai and Indian food, which should have been a red flag. We asked for paneer makhani. Tell me why, tell me why. They brought out plain paneer, like not even spiced marinated paneer in 30. Bright red, coconut, and sugar. That's all it was. It was a sweet. Ugh. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. We were like, okay, cool. Can you bring us alu gobi instead because I'm veggie? And they brought it, plain cauliflower, plain potato in the same sauce. I wish I took a picture because I'm not even lying. It was atrocious. Silliest memory with your best friend. So my best friend went to Durham University and when I was... I went to visit her. We went on a night out to this place called Cahoots. I don't know why I did that. That was the weirdest place that we've ever been to. She was like, apparently it's voted the worst club in the UK. And I was like, cool. It was awful. They were playing like really cheesy 2000s pop music, which is just not my vibe, but it's a good memory. Most memorable birthday. When I was 21, my dad flew all of my family to Miami and he flew me to Miami. Uh, and that was crazy. We had dinner at Zuma. We, it was crazy. We were just busting around doing the most random stuff. Why is 50 what makes you really angry? What a weird question. I think it's people who lack self-awareness. You know when someone's a bit delusional and doesn't have a clear sense of reality and you're looking at them like, hello, are you with me on planet Earth? And they're just not. I like it when people are quite grounded, quite self-aware, kind of like you get what's going on. You can understand how you're coming across in a social situation. Obviously we all make mistakes and sometimes we all misinterpret things. Don't get me wrong, we're, we're human and we're learning, but that really goes through me like I don't like that. What a sad question to end on. But yeah, anyways, I love you guys so much. Make sure to get your hands, make sure to get your hands on a bottle of Bayerim and I'm gonna love you and leave you. And I'm gonna catch you in the next video.